Jeff's house right now. He um, he was trying to help me with my starting issue with the YJ. He's a pretty cool guy. He does fabrication stuff. Um, he used to build Jeeps for King of Hammers. But he's got some cool projects out here. He's got the CJ5 V8, CJ7 he's trying to pull some parts off of. Right now they're about to go put some, I think they're completely converting the whole suspension and all the, what is it? All the suspension and all the axles on this YJ right over here. And then just he's building another TJ for King of Hammers. Ugh. Pretty cool stuff going on. I don't know. Just bought a computer. I can't even afford to replace the camera. Anyway, so he's got all this stuff going on. He had some ideas on what could be causing the problem with the Jeep. He helped me with my doors already, and we have some ideas for possibly building a roof rack if I ever get a job again. <laughs> so if it's in the funds, that's the plan. That's what I wanted to do. And if anyone knows how to do it, this is the guy who knows how to do it. So we'll see how well that goes. Yep. Yeah, it's Parker. Yeah. Yeah. Parker, this is Parker. He's got the YJ, and you're going to change the axles, the suspension, and everything, right? Yeah. That's what so they're grinding on right now. And we're going to chop the, about five inches off the bottom and put a 45 degree angle plate that goes all the way down to below the frame so we can roll off, slide off the rocks. Um, redo the, the roll cage. The roll cage is actually going to come down and across. And then it's gonna come through here and we're gonna build the fenders off of it. It's gonna intertween between the, the frame, it's gonna connect to the bottom, and it's gonna come up around and come in again. Uh, probably connect it to the frame again or the bumper of sorts. Uh, re go away with leaf springs, do a three link in the front with a hydro assist, and then a triangulated four link in the rear. Um, we're gonna keep the stock transmission, probably get a 205 transfer case, build it up so we can have a four to one transfer case. And then we're gonna do lockers all around. I might weld the rear, I don't know. But yeah, that's kind of what the plan is. Awesome. Okay. Do you have like an Instagram or anything for us? Or? Yeah, yeah, it's just parker.yj. Parker.yj? Yeah. <laughs> that's what he was telling me that you want to do a full down tailgate conversion on yours, CJ7 and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, that's what I want to do too. Yeah. I'm fixing to do that. I actually just got a CJ7 it's hard top. I've always wanted to do the flat dash, but I don't know. I feel oh, like I wanted to. I actually, to do the uh, standard conversion, I had to rip the whole dash apart and I was so. wanted to do it so bad. Yeah, the flat dash. I kind of want to do the flat dash, but then again, I'm like, it's a YJ. You know, that's like one of the few things that people recognize on a YJ. By the yeah. time I'm done with that, the only thing people know that it's a YJ by the time I'm done is just the square headlights. So I'm like, yeah, let's try and keep a few things. So I'm yeah. Gonna, probably want to keep it. Basically what you said, how it's like on one hand it's a YJ and you kind of like, I kind of like the dash in the YJ, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. I really, I, maybe I'll just buy a CJ7 one day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. have to worry about it. <laughs> He's kind of got the right idea. It's just like something to cruise around town in. You're not going crazy with it. If I had a flat fender though, I don't know. I, they're just so much fun. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I might just get a pretty CJ7 one day just to have around town. I like the CJ5 too. You see that where the gas tank is, right? On this one? Yeah. yeah. So the shovel, you see how it's shaped like a shovel? You put the shovel in there and you kind of mount oh, it like that. That's dude, I never knew that. That's awesome. I never even knew that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. They got a lot of cool yeah. history. One really cool thing he's got on this, I don't know if he told you, but you see this winch here? Mm -hmm. The rear one. I was one, wondering about that. That's a winch, but it actually, it connects up to the drive line. So you shift something and then, you know, you start giving it gas. Instead of rotating your drive shaft, it'll start rotating that winch and it'll pull you out. Dude, that's so cool. I didn't know all that. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. I'm actually going to go because I have some stuff to do. But yeah, it is nice meeting you. Follow me on Instagram and I'll send you a link to the video once I get it up. Have a good day. Thanks, Jeff. All right. That's pretty cool. Always fun to meet new Jeepers and stuff and figure things out. We got momentum. Just got, uh, my front drive shaft just popped off. Uh, I was driving and I had that nightmare. I mean, the front one already happened, so the rear one just happened. And it's like the bolt unthreaded or something. And it just completely popped off. And I don't know if anything's damaged. It hit my muffler, but I don't think it damaged it too bad. Uh, other than that, some police officers pulled behind me. They helped push me down the hill. I don't even know what their names were. <laughs> I didn't get to see them again. They pushed me down the hill, waved, and drove off, but super cool. Have local law enforcement helping me out. So, really neat. Now I'm stuck. 
and I just gotta figure out what on earth is going on. <laughs> that, that is what happens when your rough country drive shaft snaps off. I never buy a rough country drive shaft. Just don't do it. No. This is the bolt I just bought because I don't I don't even know what size bolt it said I needed. Um, but this is the bolts that I pulled out. These aren't technically the original bolts for the drive shaft. Um, so I'm worried that I got the wrong bolts. I matched it to the bolt that I found because I only found one bolt for the drive shaft. So I matched the size and this was the exact same size from what I was able to match. But this is what they told me I need and this is what I have. And this doesn't even fit like legit. This is what I had in there. I feel like this is like a hair too small or the threads aren't right or something because it came loose, but I, I don't. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the auto store and see if we can get the right screws. I just need the screws to get me home. Like I don't even need them to be the right screws. I just need them to actually, you know, go on and whatever. We'll figure it out. So turns out, oh, this bolt. I thought it was the right size, but apparently it was just a hair off. It's a 516 by 24 by I think this is a by one and this is a 516 by 24 by one half and it's supposed to be 516 by 24 by a quarter but um they didn't have that so I'm gonna try the one half and it looks like it's just just a hair too big but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything um so hopefully it doesn't like hit that if it hits that that would be a problem but it, it's still still better than those because those came out problem is um and i think it's fixed but now it'd be just my luck for it to you know suddenly either show back up or find out that it's not the problem i think we're good i did have a i did have a weird noise when it started though i don't know I think when it hit the muffler, it broke a piece off, and so it just was clanking around in there, and I think it spit out the exhaust, so that's cool. I mean, it took a while, but it's not making the noise anymore. Um, also cool and kind of scary, it was making this weird noise when I first got it running. The drive shaft was binding up. It sounded like it was clanking around. Now that I have those new bolts on there, it's not making that noise anymore, but... <laughs> that's kind of scary because they were probably clinking around forever and they just finally gave loose um but uh, those bolts are working so that's good they're just a hair bigger but yeah they work and she looks good also i haven't had starting issues since i went to jeff's house and he suggested i solder just that little pin and i think that was the only problem so even now if it starts again i'll at least know what to do making progress she looks good look at her so fancy so excited yeah so cool.